Hi guys, this is Clint from Royal Designer Reptiles and I'm hanging out here with Bryce Broom. You guys know from Righteous Reptiles and the one and only legend, Brian. I don't know about legend, but we're having a good time anyways. <laughs> so we're here today just to, to check out some of these at Croc City. Pop through here anytime, it's an awesome place. Um, learn all about the animals that we love so much. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a great time hanging out here. Eh? Yeah. Okay guys, so hanging out here at Croc City, always a blast. Got my good mate here handling the animal, so I trust him. Um, and this is actually a boom slunk. So boom comes from the word tree in Afrikaans. Um, I know a lot of the Americans, you guys will pronounce it boom slang. So I'm stealing a little bit from you guys there. But uh, beautiful snakes, rear fang snake. So basically they really need to gnaw on you if they're going to get a good bite. Um, you can see they're known for their really big eyes. The males, uh, we shot a bit earlier, I didn't speak about them, but they're a nice green color, just depending on the area that they come from, different colors. And the females will stay this, this dark kind of brownish color. And that's how you can differentiate the sexes quite easily without having to probe or pop sex them or anything like that. So beautiful, beautiful snake. Back here once again at Croc City, guys. And this is a moment that I've been waiting for for the last three, four years. I saw these guys and I held them when they were babies. White crocodile with a black eye. And these guys have actually Got it out a little bit over the years, so it's exciting and awesome just to see the spectacle of the normal, the black coloration there against this hypermelanistic, what we thought in the beginning possibly even leucistic because of the white color that it had. Um, but yeah, I, I know these guys feed them well here because this guy's grown well. So today was an absolute pleasure. Gonna go check out some massive crocs coming back here to Croc City and checking out the behind the scenes. And you know, one of my dreams is always to have at least as many of the different crocodilian species as possible and today just kind of inspired me to go further and further. It's not an easy task here in South Africa, there's all sorts of permits and paperwork so I'm going to get cracking on, on registering as a, a zoo or some sort of registration that I can get those permits and hopefully see this dream in the next 5, 10, 15 years, however long it takes me, I'm going to get there. Clint from World Designer Reptiles signing out.